also I can also prove that Faye had the unedited screenshots. Why? Because she released a video that she mentions here saying too long didn't read a final statement on this mess of a community in recent events. Peace out peeps called the girl girl who cried blasphemy. This video is now well now it's privated. Don't play it. Don't play oh, it. Shit. Oh no, now it's not. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, keeps going back and forth. Yeah. Um, well, so here's the thing. So, now so the video has a privacy claim on it almost immediately after upload because that's what innocent people do. So it'll be private until it is cleared. But observe at your own but but observe at your own leisure and make up your own minds. In this video, she leaks Zara's private number. She black as Abdullah Samir points out, she blacked out all the numbers except her. Faye posted in these videos and left Zara's number on there. Yeah, what she, a, ha she had the unedited screenshots. So I think it's important she, that we talk. <laughs> maybe okay. I just in this new video that's now up because it wasn't up a second ago. I saw the original unreleased uh, video. She admits that she got the screenshots directly from the group. She says no, herself. No. No, no, no. She admits that she got it from somebody inside. Yes, the group. yes that's right. what I meant. But she's yeah. she she admits a direct line of communication between whoever the leaker is, who's unnamed, and herself. I don't know if th this is which we now know, which we now know, and uh, I mean would insist on using the word allegedly Yasmin Muhammad, but I have no doubt in my mind it is Yasmin Muhammad. Um, uh, but so, so this is why I think it's very important. Uh, uh, Armin pointed out a very good point, made a very good point that it is important for everyone to know um, that uh, his words he's saying allegedly that Yasmin did it, and I and I have no doubt that she did it. That all the other people who might reach out to her who might be in more vulnerable serious situation. What this tells us that if you have a little tiny mini grudge about uh, with someone, and I have no doubt, uh, I'm assuming, I, I actually don't know, but someone just recently told me that Yasmin might have had something with Zara as well, and maybe that's why she did it. Again, I don't know that. I, I, I haven't, I don't know it personally, but if you have a tiny grudge against someone, is this how far you can go? Can the other people trust you? Imagine some, some girl in Bangladesh contacts Yasmin about something, you know, can we actually trust her with her information? So that's one very important part, point. And I think everyone should know um, this, this. This is not something that should be swept under the carpet. Um, she did make this tweet uh, just recently. And, um, and Ali Rizwi, as you said, um, uh, was blocked over it. Uh, I think it's probably a good idea if we do share that. Wait, you um, just removed your screen. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Um, so Yasmin Muhammad says, this is uh, on 14th of January, two days after. Can you zoom she... in, please? Oh, sorry. Um, how do I, okay. Control. Okay, good, good, good. okay, so so this is two days after she allegedly leaked the information to Faye. Um, and again, she should have said straight away, 13th of Jan, as soon as it came out, because Faye wasted no time. As soon as she got it, she created a fake account. Girl ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, girl, you ain't lying with a I've fake ID. That as well. um, sorry? I have screenshots of that as well. Oh yeah, good. I, I don't know if you want to show them, uh, and and, and uh, it, that shows about the person who's demanding integrity. She's getting in bed with Ali Daba. I mean, who gets in bed with Ali Daba? His wife wouldn't get in bed with him. But anyway, the issue with Zara K is complicated, as a lot of info cannot be shared publicly. All right, now you know. However, regardless of anything, anything posting private conversation is despicable. Oh, posting private con and to which Ali A Rizvi uh, said, "Yes, as is leaking them." She didn't rebuke him. She didn't refute him. She, she, what she did, she actually blocked him. So, you shot know, I, chaser. sorry, I said shot and chaser. Yeah. Um, so, so I think I would never trust Yasmin Muhammad with anything. Uh, and I think it's important. We do actually have a responsibility that, uh, if someone, some oblivious person goes out to him and I know, so let, let's just talk about one more person in the saga. Uh, infidel, uh, infidel noodle. I mean, the poor young girl. She just got into it, and as you said, she she didn't know anything, and she obviously her she. I think she holds Yasmin Muhammad very highly, uh, and she, she obviously now works. She now works at Free Hearts, Free Minds. Okay, so I'm maybe because of that, so she would have been getting one side of information, and obviously now 
mix fain and, and you mix fain anything it becomes poisonous and venomous and she tweeted some um uh, tweets where she was condemning zara as well but when, as soon as she found out the whole story or most of it she was like oh oh hang on okay and this is what i said about uh, ap as well that had ap asked anyone i'm 100 percent certain he would have uh, he would have still stayed in support of zara or he would have uh, just kept his mouth shut but now Obviously, he's just said it, and now he doesn't want to uh, go back again and back and forth. So he just said, "Ah, la la la, I don't want to hear anything." So, so, so these guys were okay. They felt victim to um, uh, to to phase uh, manipulation. But Yasmin Muhammad, if let's just say if someone very naive or someone who's not a as public as Yasmin Muhammad had leaked it and then said, "Oh, look, I messed up," you know. Fair enough, maybe we could forgive them. But Jasmine Muhammad is supposed to be a very big name, serious activist. And this is how she's going to uh, post so carelessly, not even post it. And, and as you said, uh, you know, uh, arming Faye with that kind of information is like putting a gun in a monkey's hand. But, um, you know, so are we going to talk about this spiteful, vengeful, deceitful, backstabbing, vindictive woman Faye? Or when are we going to start it? <laughs> oh, 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 damn. <laughs> um, I've, been, I've been practicing that. In my Armin, head. it looks like you have something to pull up. Uh, no, I just I just want to mention that um, for Faye Faye Rahman is that her last name? Mm -hmm. Faye the her, obnoxious. Let me just finish this, okay? Um, for Faye, who we all knew she had some personal vendetta against Zara K, right? For her to jump on this and use this as an opportunity to settle some scores against Zara. Like, you have to be human garbage. Like, fuck you, Faye. Fuck you. And I saw the video that she that went private for a while. She keeps on like, oh, I don't want to have, have anything to do with the explosive community. Fuck off. We don't need you. You are human garbage. And it's so great to see the garbage taking, her, taking herself out. Oof. We, no, like... Like how low that you have to be, even if you had some issues with the language around this, uh, around what we were doing, okay? About this whole group of uh, ex-Muslims that actually were, I, I can't, it's, I'm actually amazed about how little flaw it was involved. Like uh, usually there are some mistakes here and there with the language or this could have been better or that could have been better. I'm not gonna put, have the same standards for Zara because she was on the ground and dealing with it at the time. But the ex-Muslim community outside of that stressful environment, it, there's, the way they reacted to this was very professional, very amazing. So, and the good thing is that people like Faye removing themselves from us, good. Get the fuck out. We don't want you. We don't need you. We are better without you. You are human garbage, Faye. You are- Everyone's doctor. No, you know, I mean, fuck. You know, like, people are like, oh, but she had to deal with this, with that, with, deal with that, and that's why she's like this now. Yeah, you could excuse any, any shitty behavior like this. Every, every single person that you could categorize as human garbage, you think they didn't have a background that led them to be where they are right now? Mm -hmm. We are, he, here's a side benefit of all sh shit like this happening is that we're going to see like the, the people. Uh, like Yasmin or Faye who act like this, we will be able to identify them and remove them. And this is progress because we're going to move, first of all, we're going to be able to see the amazing people that are doing this right, like Jimmy, like Mariam, like Mimsy, um, like like uh, like Susie, our, Su our own Susie here, right? Uh, like Abdullah Samir, uh, like Ali Rizvi, like Harris Sultan, right? Um, uh, by the way, she really shouts out to Mimsy as well because she came up with a video clarifying this really fast. You could see the passion in that video. By the way, guys, go subscribe to Mimsy Viets. Um, but we're going to be able to identify who we can trust, who are the sources. Guys, I don't trust my fuck myself, okay? This is very sensitive. I trust other people. That's why I'm just waiting behind. Like, like I'm not making this when it comes to, like, when it comes to act, this kind of activism. I do not trust myself at all. Norman wasn't like, even in the group chat. It was me. No, but I'm like, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like okay, I know my, I know Mariam like knows what she's doing. I know Jimmy knows what she's doing. So I'm like, 
you guys tell us like i know they are so involved i know they're in touch with legal experts i'm like tell, I'm, how many times i told susie like every time like we're saying this like have has this been greenlit like are we saying anything at all that we're not allowed to say like are we being careful because i don't know like I, this is very sensitive issue but for you okay but here's the thing for faye the the human garbage that is faye okay for her to let's say even that she didn't like it and she thought she thought all of this is wrong and we're like making something uh, out of nothing okay she didn't even fucking wait for zara to be out of tanzania before she did this she is we have an ex-muslim activist inside of inside of an islamic country in legal trouble for it's whatever for whatever fucking reason she's having legal trouble she's at the most vulnerable she can be and you're leaking private information about her being rescued it, this is short of criminal if this this might not be criminal i don't know i'm not a legal expert but if it, if this is not immoral i don't know what immorality even means like if you you are an excuse uh, you are not an activist any any activist group any activist group is so much better without you in it, Faye. No, I am so happy. We are so fucking happy that you do not consider yourself part of the ex-Muslim movement anymore. Ve ve Get very the fuck out. I have something important to say. First, clarifying a point: technically, uh, Tanzania is not a Muslim country; it's a, a Christian country. Okay, and a secular country. Me, uh, majority. Um, we're talking about demographics. Um, two. Um. I'm going to be charitable for a moment as best as I can be. Um, I understand people's desire to not have this cause be diluted. I share that desire. I'm partic I'm one of the most passionate, one of the things I'm most passionate about is the cause of blasphemy. Okay. So I think the desire to have that cause stay legitimized, to have it be valid is a noble desire. And I share that desire. Okay. Holding, um, people accountable and making sure that the movement doesn't get off track does it exaggerate situations doesn't present them as they are not as so as to damage credibility that's good that's noble okay you could have done this when zara was home if you shared that desire you could have still if you you could have still exposed us all you could have still exposed us all and you actually would have preserved your own you would have saved your own face better because then we couldn't say you did this when she was still in danger it's that simple yep. you wanted to, if you wanted to do this right you would have done it when zara was safe because then we can't come at you with this because you played that, yourself because that just shows that what she actually wanted she she had some disagreement with Zara or BLM matter or something. That's how so, it started. This started yeah, over whatever in the summer, and it and it ended up so crazy that now, as you said, it's a very good point. You know, like even if someone I really dislike, I am, um, you know, like who, I I I'm when I know that the person is innocent of the charges is being thrown at us. You know, life could be it was okay. Fair enough. In countries that we, you know, like countries, Western countries or some other country where you know you know that there's a, there's a rule of law. Okay, uh, but even in, in a country, you know that this can get out of hand. Well, even though it wouldn't, I mean, it, because these guys are idiots, they don't know. There's nothing legally um, implicit, uh, uh, um, uh, in, what's the word, incriminating in that. Um, but she didn't wait for, as you said, she didn't wait for her to get out of Tanzania. Then I'll publicly humiliate her with these screenshots. No, but you know, that says that she is so vindictive and vengeful uh, that that she would rather have her rot in prison, which again is not going to hopefully happen because you know this doesn't mean anything. But she would go full blown, and she's demanding integrity when she's actually creating fake accounts, breaching Yasmin Muhammad's trust, who was also being stupid to share the screenshots in the first place, and poisoning other people. And guess what? Everyone else is actually blocking her because pe even people who were manipulated by her for a moment realize, oops, we've been fooled by this woman and um, the blocking. So that says a lot about this woman.
I do want to read some comments in the live chat. Jimmy is saying, even if Faye thought uh, there was a, only a 10% chance that Zara was in danger and 90% that she was telling lies, the, uh, the humanist thing to do would be to wait uh, for her to get out, uh, get to UK, then expose her. I completely agree with that. Um, there was another thing. I uh, about to my shit. Yeah, I know. I, I'm going to get to that. Ali is saying, uh, Faye is blinded uh, and dr uh, driven by nothing but hatred towards Zara. Complete disgrace for of Zara's safety. Jimmy is saying, exposing her in Tanzania with even a 10% chance could risk her life uh, to mob justice, mob violence, and death is despicable. I agree. We have a positive prophet here. Um, Ooh, I'm about to lose my shit. Okay, a person prophet is saying you shouldn't um, you shouldn't attack someone so harshly based on this. Zara K is not a friendly person. She attacked people and randomly treated them badly, uh, often for no reason. No wonder some don't trust her. Do you okay, think now is the time to bring up someone's personal beef? Are you freaking kidding me? I am not here to defend Zara's behavior in any given personal relationship that she's had. I'm sure I'm sure that she's made mistakes. There's been so much stuff that Zara has said, done on Twitter, everywhere that I disagree with strongly, that I don't like, that I don't like how that reflects on the broader ex-Muslim activist community, etc. Now is not the time. Are you kidding me? Are you it's kidding me? This is not the time. And I knew, I knew that people were going to bring their petty beef into this. I knew that they were going to bring up their personal problems with Zara into her ongoing legal situation. It's like, it's, it's if, like, if he's not a nice person, what the frick does that have to do? What, 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 why am I censoring myself? I'm so trained to <laughs> curse on YouTube. What the fuck does that have to do with what she's being put through right now there is so much stuff that's going on that we can't talk about publicly that's awful about what's happening to her okay like get a grip it's like it's like it's like saying that when uh, if Armin gets gets arrested and someone says, "Oh, Armin always used to yell in the microphone and he he once called me a motherfucker," <laughs> or you know, or, or or if AP gets arrested and someone says, "Oh, he you know he used to attack Islam and you know he called me this and that," dude, that's I I I really don't understand why you you why are you even making a big deal out of it? You should say, "Yeah, I was manipulated, I was lied to, I was given false information," and I believe that's probably what happened, but. How can you just keep on just I mean, how could how could anyone defend or justify Faye's actions? And you're, you're more worried about don't go too harsh on her. I mean, she's the one. She's a person leaking private information. Right. Someone leaking your private information. Okay, and I, I, AP. Okay, wait, just a second. Just a second. <sighs> okay. AP is saying she refused to mock people who need real help. She should stop playing the victim and using the ex-Muslim woman card. Okay, Ridvan, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you didn't see the beginning of this stream where we talked about how we are very carefully using language and speaking for ourselves at Atheist Republic, we never claimed that this is because she is an ex-Muslim woman. Okay? Maybe other people were. I can only speak for myself. Okay. This is a little bit of a side note, but I would just like to say that if Faye was ever in trouble, if Yasmin was ever in trouble, if AP was ever in trouble, I would still go defend them and help them in this case, okay? Even though I don't like some of their personal behavior. And I would extend them the respect that they did not extend to others to maintain their confidentiality and their privacy. I have that respect for them, even though I don't respect other things that they've done. Uh, it, I, no, 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 wait, no. I need to say something. I posted profit. This is one of the most fucking dumbest take you've ever had. Okay, this is the shittiest take that you ever had, and I'm gonna call you out for it. Okay, I'm. I, maybe you didn't watch the beginning of this video. It doesn't really matter because the information was out there. You don't any personal issues that you have with, uh, with the way people behave. That is has nothing to do when it comes to defending them when they're in trouble. Okay. We, the, we, here, here's the thing you're mentioning. If Susanna is mentioning, um, Yasmin Muhammad or Apostle Prophet if they're in trouble. Ali fucking Dawa, if he's yes. arrested, yes, if, if Ali fucking Dawa is arrested in a fucking Islamic country, in a Shia country because he's a fucking Sunni, we here at Aces Republic will go out and defend Ali 
fucking Dawa after all the fucking shit he has, after all the harassments that he had to your wife, to Abdullah Samir's wife, every, every single disgusting behavior that Ali Dawa has spewed all over the internet is not going to stop us from going out and even if he fucking doesn't deserve it, it doesn't fucking matter. If his human rights are being violated, we're going to go out and we're going to defend that motherfucker. Even if he's not grateful, we don't give a shit. You think if we're not going to defend Ali fucking Dawa, we're not going to defend Zara K? For, and second of all, what is this bullshit with ex-Muslim woman card? Who the fuck is using the ex-Muslim woman card? Maybe go and look at the fucking statements that we have put out there. Maybe go look at the videos that we that we publish. We are we were very specific and very clear about what she was being arrested for. And every time we guessed, every time we said that this might have to do with something with her blasphemy or activism, we said likely, probable. We assume, we don't know, we are not sure. We the call to action, the call to action was to ask the government of Tanzania why she's arrested to clarify. That was the call to action. We never said it was specifically for blasphemy. We never said that. And if you made a mistake, if you went out and defended Zara, okay, without checking what was the approved messages and what we were saying, you made a mistake. Don't blame other fucking people for the mistake you made. Own up to it. Like, oopsie, I didn't do my research before I put a video out there. Don't blame other people for fraud because we were careful here. We were careful enough here to say what she was actually being arrested for and she still deserves to be defended and she still deserves her human rights to be uh, protected even if it wasn't for blasphemy, even if it's not because she's an ex-Muslim woman. Okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. I just I want to I want to say if I'm if I'm smiling while I'm doing it, it's just because humor is a defense net mechanism and I'm uncomfortable. Nothing about this is funny. And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you get a free copy. Uh, why there's not, where's your copy, Susanna? Get it, get it, get it. We're doing promotion. You get a free, it's not even promotion, it's free. Okay, so if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description, you get a free copy of Why There's No God. Ah, come on, like I'm handing it out for free. Okay, it's a bestseller on Amazon and you get it for free. So subscribe to our newsletter and you get a free copy of Why There's No God sent to you. Link in the description.